my name is Peter Postman, I'm from 97 Dublin. Um, what's the question? My first question is to talk about uh, illegal dumping. So, what's the end of the microphone? What is the legal recourse for that? If I, if I have a dispute with you, like you tell you spend like a couple of weeks and tell it, it's yours. And I tell yes. you, it's not mine. And it's, there is no proof from either side. Yeah. I mean, we even. Okay, I can try to answer. It's, it's not any more complex than any other violation that we try to, not try to, but that we end up finding somebody for. It's like a speeding ticket, a parking ticket, a violation of any other ordinance. If you claim it's not yours, we claim it is, then we're, and we believe it is, then we're probably going to go to court over it if you don't want to pay the fine. So we're going to be here. Huh? Is there going to be hearing process for that? There is a process for it now. It's just like any other, it's like any other violation of, a, of any ordinance that we currently have. No. It's the same thing. Who is, which, which department is going to handle this? Uh, It'll be, it's the Board of Health and the Department of Public Works. And our compliance department. Also, <laughs> checks for the illegal dumping. Yes. It probably will take a couple of weeks. It's, in my experience, it doesn't take no. to the uh, same day pick up. When the uh, when, uh, trust doesn't, doesn't accept it, so it's, uh, it stays on the No, we don't allow it to stay on the sidewalk. You know, it's picked up to me. How then it, that would require a call to either my office or to the Department of Public Works. We do try to remove everything on the day of the designated yeah. uh, Another question is, uh, when you decided to use a uh, bag, is my cheaper will be use labels and just put them on the back. So it's like, see the Newton does, how the Newton does that. It will be much cheaper and yeah, that, that could be a refinement to the program that we talked to the Department of Environmental Protection. There's, this is their suggested way of rolling it out in a, in a community that does use uh, the bags on a regular basis and we find that that's the case. Most people either put the bag on the curb or put the bag in a barrel. This bag is a substitute so that we can see, clearly see that uh, trash that's on the sidewalk is in compliance with the program. And another thing is, I think the smaller bags it should be implemented before October because it's, it's basically you uh, charge you punish somebody who doesn't throw a lot of garbage, a lot of junk. And so, small events should be done. Thank you. Well, I have a comment on education. One, I know people in other states that have multiple yeah, yeah, yeah. that have multiple sizes for their trash. So I think that should be implemented since we have to do this. I think just that one trash bag, that's not a good um, solution. And then just for clarification, you said that you're not changing your mind on this program. So um, unless the people over there that are sitting down that have been silent all night, unless they change their minds, then this is definitely going to happen. Can you just clarify whether that is true or not? Well, I said what I said. And I well, just, I just want to okay, answer because other people have asked that and you haven't really answered. So just, well, I don't have to... Uh, I just said I'm, this is the correct course for the community in my estimation. We need so I just, I just want, I don't want like a smart like Alex comment back. I just want a yes or a no. I, like this will be implemented regardless of what all no, these people I think. I said earlier, I am one form of the city government. That right, so, so, like so unless uh, the other people change, change their minds, yeah. then this will definitely happen. That's just my, well, that's it's, my it's, question. It's going to be implemented on October 6th now. So yes. It's or no? Yes. Thank you. I'm Steve. I live in uh, one one foot park in Maryland. I just moved there two years ago. Not once did a trash company come up my street. It's a little dead end street. Right? I got carrying my trash bags down. And I had an incident where they blocked in front of a little old lady's house. Legal dumping. I called up the city to have them move. And they yelled at me saying, oh, well, it's your, it's your stuff. He says, no, it's not my stuff. They finally came and caught it. Somebody threw all the trash in there and they yelled at the lady. And I turned around and I said, it's not her. She didn't do any construction work. And I got pissed. Yeah. You know? And, and it's the people saying, oh, we're going to do this and do that. What about our taxes? Uh, you don't plow my street either. I got to plow it myself from my own hands. And the trash. I got to take the trash down. I got to take it down for two old little old people. I got all the pay for my taxes. 
I got a good feeling. I, I lived there for two years. I had that right received a trash bin. One of those recycle bins. I'm a recycle person. I'm not paying five dollars. I just moved. Uh, for a homeowner, it's free. It's free, yeah, I know, but they're saying that, no, it's five dollars. I said, I just moved it. Oh, well, we can correct that point. It's, if, you have, if you don't have one yet, then you're entitled to one, so. Okay, and, and so now, now, that's, now what, whether or not the Winthrop Park, we can, I'd be glad to have our departments take a look at how the trash cycle, uh, the, the route works down there. Uh, there may be a reason why they don't come, I don't know, but be glad to try to find out if they can get down there. They certainly should. We pick up at the curb in front of every location. That may be a particularly difficult uh, uh, dead end street to get down. If it's not, then we should be pick, driving down and picking it up. I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I, so that that's an easy one. Yeah, I don't want what number went for a park? One went for a park. I don't want to the road. Two went for a park. Days went for. Thank you. Yes. Mr. Mayor, um, our city council members, would you care to give us a breakdown as to which members of the city council voted in favor of the ordinance, which ones voted against it? Well, I mean, I'll, I don't, um, if you don't mind, I list uh, who voted for it. Uh, Councilor DiPietro from Ward 3. Anderson from Ward 7. Councilor at Large, Lucy. Councilor Furlong from Ward 5. Councilor Condon from Ward 2, Councilor Bucci from Ward 8, and <laughs> Councilor Mike, uh, at large Michael Sheehan. So those are the seven that voted for. There were four, four who voted against. That would be Councilor Christensen from 1, uh, Councilor, <laughs> Councilor Nesta from 4, Councilor Kinnon from six and Councilor at large, Craig Spencer. Go on. I think we're over here, right? Yeah. Uh, I also have a relaxation station over here. Uh, I've been asking my, a lot of my clients uh, a lot about what we should do about uh, recycling and uh, trash. And, um, I've been a lot of input about communities and this is really a huge transformation for this whole community to just take our trash barrels away and make us heavy for every one. Um, what, what I would suggest is just to um, perhaps entertain the idea of maybe at, allowing us to purchase a large trash barrel that's free and then pay for additional bags. Just have each household at least have something for our taxes. And so you wouldn't probably get half of these people here if we just had something to put our trash in. Um, another, just a second point. Um, I've seen a, a lot of times, especially on holidays, the trash men will go by, I don't know, maybe because they're doubled up, they'll pick up all the recyclables and throw them in the trash yeah. all the time. Yeah. So I just want to make you aware of that. Yeah, that uh, is activity that should not occur with the contractor. And that's a point well taken. Thank you. My name is Paul Weston. Uh, my particular question to the mayor is a particular issue we've been having up here in Ward 3 is with the drug needles. I know for a fact there's a couple found out here on Elm Street a few weeks ago. I found one in my yard about a year ago. I had some problems up on Alpine Street. I'm just wondering how the new draft body, I mean, what is the policy to deal with these uh, needles that seem to be here? They're never good in this community today. Uh, with the syringes? Yeah. I mean, what are we supposed to do? I walked out my yard a year ago, and there's a, there's a needle sitting there in my yard. You know, well, paranoid right now to go out there and do yard work because if, next time I stick my hand in the grass or whatever, I could get poked. I mean, we. Can I don't know, uh, you know, where the uh, the needle would be generated from. You know, we know we're a community that tries to help all people. Or that it, it's the uh, kind of activity I showed them by your, your comment that you, you think it's generated by illegal drug activity. Um, you know, there's, there's no doubt that there is uh, a certain amount of that that happens, whether or not our police department sees it and they will prevent it, or whether we do things after the fact. Um, you know, we wouldn't pick it up. Uh, another yeah. issue I would call uh, City Hall, if you do happen to see one, our Board of Health would. Uh, Appropriately disposed of it. That's, and on, weekend, that's a, and on weekends? See one, our Board of Health would uh, 
a problem when you solve that. That's and on, weekend, and on weekends? Um, oh, they're on not weekends, here. We